Hey there, today I'm going to show you how you can save unprecise selection, how we can enhance that with refine selection button. So here I am in Affinity Photo version 2 for desktop and normally we need to spend some time selecting the person here. Unfortunately, there's no auto selection in Affinity software right now. What if we make a very rough selection, unprecise selection? Can we kind of use that together with refined selection options to get a decent selection? Let's find out. So I go in here for my selection tools and I'll use the very basic one, freehand tool, also called lasso tool. So let's zoom in a bit. And as I mentioned, I will make it unprecise and quick. That's very unprecise, as you can see. So we got this very rough, quick selection. At the very top, you will see refine button. If you cannot see refine button, try to select selection tool to be active. All right, that should solve your problem. Let's hit refine. And we got this new pop up box. This kind of showing us what will be selected, that's the full color, and what will be not selected, that's the red color. From here, we could use the border with slider to give the area for the program to decide based on the contrast what should be selected. So we give it kind of like automatic selection here, but in our case, I don't think that this will help. The selection is too unprecise. So this may help a bit. If the selection is good enough, in my case, I don't think this would be very helpful. We can smooth and feather selection. If you want a blurry edge on your selection, we can ramp it in and out as well. So we can make it larger or smaller after we already make the selection. All right. What we need to do, we need to manually adjust it using adjustment brush. So we can put neutral foreground background and feather background is the one we don't need so click on the background and then try to use the brush in the background area you can modify the size of the brush using square brackets on your keyboard like with any other brush take a look i can make it larger it's time to zoom in a bit And again, you may notice I'm not very precise with the brush. The brush try to detect what's the foreground. So even though I mess up selection, we are already getting a better result just by pointing the background in the refine selection menu. Here's the area that is got this like trapped area of the backdrop. All right. Same situation here. We must point out to the software that's the backdrop area. That's too much, so we can undo. And by using the background mode, we can kind of, we can enhance this unprecise selection to usable standard, you could say. It would be not perfect, but way better. In case of opposite situation, if the program mark this arm of the red color, you want to switch to foreground and be sure that program understands that this element, that's the part of the foreground we want to keep it. All right, so we kind of enhance the selection. Let's try to apply this and as the output, I want new layer of the mask. Apply. And here's our output, so it's way better than the default selection we made at first. We can still, still keep enhancing it by modifying the mask. As you can see, there's a mask here with two colors, white 
and black. So if you click on the mask, not on the layer, but on the mask, you can use the regular brush with black and white color. So the black color will, will hide that element. So take a look. The black color will hide the element completely. When the white color will uncover back, so we can get the background back here if you like. All right, so we can still do a very similar process using the mask directly to make some final tuning, final touches over here. So it was a great help, the refine selection tool. And you can only imagine how good it is if you've got actual precise selection. We managed to save this very unprecise, very ugly selection to be usable. So with the precise selection, it will be only better. So don't forget, instead of just using selection tool, hit the refine button, and then let the program help you out a bit. You got also four different outputs. You can have a selection back. So you're just refining the selection directly. You can make a mask on the existing layer. You can copy the selection to a new layer, or you can make a new layer of the mask so it's undistractive and you can continue editing later. All right, that's what I want to show you in this video. Don't forget. Whatever selection tool is in use, you always got the refine selection button at the top to help you out with the final selection. I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.